Hey guys, welcome back. It's Connor here and it is time for candle review number two of the day. If you missed from earlier, I did do a review of Homeworks Haunted Apple Nights. I will link that one down below in the description. So if you want to go back and watch it in case you missed it, definitely do that. Uh, I have a very positive review of that one. Uh, so go and watch that. Uh, this one may be a little bit negative. Um, I don't ever want to be negative, but I always want to be honest with my experience with the candle. And um, I've kind of had a very odd experience with this caramel apple. And I feel like the um, most hard experiences to like show on YouTube are the ones that you really don't understand yourself. And I feel like that's what I have here. I don't really know what is off about this candle, but there's something that just does not seem right. I don't know if it is the apple. I don't know if it's the caramel, if it's the cinnamon. I've really tried to figure that out and I still feel a little bit bamboozled by it. Um, I'm not really sure what is wrong with this candle. Also, I do feel like I'm having some slight performance issues. So I'm just going to give you guys my honest feedback and opinions. Um, it is also funny because I've been reading some reviews just on the Homeworks website and there are so many positive reviews for this one. So I'm just super confused by uh, what happened because I have been speaking with a couple of other uh, people on Instagram, specifically The Joyful Life, who is on Instagram, um, The Joyful Candle, sorry, that's her name on Instagram. And um, she and I have kind of been sharing our experience with this one and we both definitely think that something is up with it. She thinks that maybe it is missing an apple note. I think the cinnamon note that is added is kind of odd and something about this just does not smell super, uh, I don't know, it's not bad. It just does not smell right to me. It doesn't really smell like a caramel apple. So I don't know what happened with this one. Um, if you do have it or did have it, I would love to hear kind of your experience with it. So let me know down below in the comments. But let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to start with the uh, fragrance. I'll read off the notes, let you know what I'm smelling, what I'm not smelling. And then um, I'll also talk about the burn and performance on this one as well. Before we do get into that, uh, check out the description box down below. I will link this one if you're interested. Uh, you may not want to purchase after my review, but maybe you will. Everybody has, a, has their own different uh, fragrance preferences and taste. And so you may be very excited to try this one out so definitely do so if that is you and um, you can use my discount code Connor loves candles to save yourself 15% off of 40 or more dollar purchases so definitely use that to your advantage um, and also just to let y'all know and I forgot to mention this in the first video I feel bad um, both of these candles were sent in PR to me um, so I am an ambassador with homework so we do get PR sent to us and I actually am also a moderator for the Facebook group for homework so I actually receive additional gratis or PR than the regular ambassadors do so you do see a lot of PR here on my channel and I know some people get annoyed by that but in my opinion it is a good thing because I'm getting to share more fragrance with fragrances with you than I would normally be able to. I only have but uh, so much of a budget and so it's really hard to be able to burn, buy, review, afford all these candles. And so with them getting sent to me for review, it's really great. And I'm always honest with my feedback. And you will see that with this review. Not every candle is a hit for me. Yes, there are many that I love. But there are some that definitely come and are not, um, you know, what I expected. Or they're not performing up to my standards. So I'm always honest with my opinions, whether it is sent in PR or if I purchased it my own. So uh, yes, this was sent in PR as well as the Haunted Apple Nights. All right, so let's get right into Caramel Apple here. First, I will say this label is super cute. It's got some caramel apples all around it. I do love the label, um, but let's go ahead and get into the fragrance here. So the scent story says, indulge in the sweet treats of autumn with a crisp red apple drizzled in caramel with creamy vanilla bean and cinnamon. Your main four fragrance notes are red apple, caramel drizzle, vanilla bean, and cinnamon. And then to go even more in depth, your top notes are juicy red apple, honey crisp apple, and crushed almonds. Your middle notes are sweet caramel drizzle and white chocolate chips. And your bottom notes are vanilla bean, fresh nutmeg, and cinnamon bark. Okay, so let me tell you the first thing that really kind of stood out to me about this one that I was just like confused by is the spice. 
Why would they put spice in a caramel apple scent? For me, I've never had a caramel apple where there's cinnamon or clove or nutmeg and all of that is listed in here. Um, I'm sorry, not the clove, but there's nutmeg, there's cinnamon bark in here, there's cinnamon. It lists all of that and I've never gotten any of that on a caramel apple that I've ever had. And I don't think I've tried like a ton of caramel apple scents, but when I have, they've never had a spice note to them. And this one to me did have a spice note. I will say, I think when I burn it, I don't get as much of that spice note in here, but when I smelled it on cold, I definitely picked up a cinnamon or a nutmeg note in here, and it was pretty prominent, and I just think, think for me, like, if I'm going to have, like, a sweet apple and caramel scent, I don't want spice. I know that a lot of candles in the fall should have spice and do have spice. A lot of the companies love spice, and I am someone who actually does really enjoy fragrances that have a lot of spice to them during the fall and holidays. But there are certain scents where I just don't think it's necessary. And I think that these candle companies sometimes try and put spice in every single fragrance. And it's just not necessary in every fragrance. And this is one where it's just not really necessary in. So that was kind of the first thing to me that was really weird about this. Um, and then when I burned it, I feel like I lacked smelling an apple note in here. I do get a lot of caramel. I will say that's like the main note that I honestly get is the caramel. I like the caramel in here, which is funny because I don't always love caramel, but the caramel that Harry uses in here is very interesting. I don't feel like it's this normal caramel that he uses. I feel like it normally he uses a very sweet, very um, like strong caramel fragrance that sometimes is just way too cloying and intense. But this seems to me more like a smoother caramel. It's almost more less sweet. It smells more just like in the background, but it's really the only note that I'm getting in here when I'm burning it because I really do not get that much of an apple. I mean, I have tried to look for the apple in here and I will smell it again. Um, you might see me in the frame. I really don't pick up much apple at all in this one. It's a very faint apple. Um, but I feel like I would want like 50% apple, 50% caramel, and I'm really just not getting a ton of the apple in here. Um, I, I don't know, the scent, it's just something is not right to it for me. I think maybe the spice threw me off, and then now I'm just like, where's the apple note? <laughs> something about this one just does not seem right to me. I don't know if maybe it's just me, but then when I saw the Joyful Candle on Instagram posted about this one, I was like, me too, something smells really off about this. So I'm not sure what it is. I can't really tell you you should go buy this one. Of course, if you want to and you're willing to take a risk, do that. That is awesome. But for me personally, this will not be a repurchase because it just does not seem like it is, um, you know, a caramel apple scent. And then on top of that, I don't find the strength and throw to be that good, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, I'm not really having any burn issues per se. Um, I'm not dealing with like wick issues or wax issues, but it is just really light on strength and throw. I really cannot smell much. So I don't know. Overall, I just feel like this candle is kind of a big womp womp for me um, personally, which is unfortunate because I think that this could have been a really great scent if they could have done something similar to like Bath & Body Works Cider Lane, which is a caramel apple scent. I feel like that could have been really good, but for me, this one was honestly just a pretty big miss, which is very unfortunate. Um, I do kind of want to go through some of these other scents, like for example, chocolate. I definitely do not get a white chocolate in here. Um, I don't really get any nuttiness in here. I think the nuttiness could be interesting because um, if you've ever had like peanuts on a caramel apple, that's good. It's uh, listing, um, oh, it's listing almonds, which I don't think almonds is normally what's on an apple, but maybe it is. I don't, when I have nuts on an apple with a caramel apple, it's normally like a peanut. I don't really get that though. And I really don't get the, um, I don't get the cinnamon or nutmeg when I'm burning it, which I guess I'm happy about. I did smell that on cold, but when I'm smelling it when burning, I really don't get it. So yeah, I don't know. Overall, this one is just really confusing to me and a bit of a miss. Again, let me know in the comments if you tried this one. I want to know what you thought of it. What did you smell from it? Did you enjoy it? I would love to hear in the comments. All right, let's go ahead and finish off with the burn and performance on this one. Uh, like I said, the burn has been good so far. I have not dealt with any issues at all. Um, I honestly feel like Homeworks has gotten pretty consistent with their burns. I do think that sometimes they'll have like one where it doesn't burn great, but I feel like 
I have seen consistency from them, which is something that I've just asked for for a while. I just want consistency from them, and I do feel like we are seeing that. Um, I will go ahead and give you all an overhead view here. Um, it has not fully, up, fully pulled out because I did just light it up for the review. But I mean, as you can see, there's no issues. I really have not dealt with consistent wick issues in a few years from Homeworks, honestly. Um, they used to kind of give me constant puny wicks and just falling wicks sometimes. But I feel like their burns have gotten very um, consistent and I have not dealt with any issues at all. Um, as you can see, nice clean burn there and the wicks are doing good. I am just trimming these wicks like I do normally with Homeworks. Um, some do ask me kind of like, how do you trim your Homeworks wicks? On the first burn, I do not trim them at all. I just light it up as it comes. And then um, I do normally trim on the subsequent burns. I just make sure to get that um, top mushroom part off, the light bulb. And then once that is off, that's really all that you need. You can light it up and go. I will say, definitely limit your burn time with Homeworks candles. I do not recommend burning them for more than four hours. And sometimes four hours is even a push. I feel like you can burn these for like three hours and you'll be good. Um, especially if you have it in a hurricane, because with a hurricane, it does have some heat trapped in there and um, it will just make it pull out quicker and so you don't want to get too big of a pull or that is when you will start running into those wick issues and just overall burn issues so make sure to limit your burn time but overall um yeah this one i would just limit the burn time in terms of the strength and throw i like i said it's really light for me i'm not really smelling much from this one at all um i think like if it had a more of the apple note to it i think i'd probably get some better of a strength and throw but i really don't get much at all from this one so i'd put it at like a five if, if even that i don't even know if it's that i feel like just the caramel is just like a four, honestly. Uh, I've tried putting this in a hurricane. Um, it might slightly help, but I really just struggle with getting a strength and throw from this one. And I really do think a big part of that is because I feel like it's missing like the apple fragrance oil in here. So yeah, overall, this candle for me was just a big letdown and disappointment. Um, and I kind of felt that way from the start with that spice note that I was smelling. It just did not make sense in the candle. And I just think my experience since that has just been really bad with this one. So I don't know what's up with it. Um, but again, do please share your experience down below in the comments. And I do just want to apologize if this a review was a little bit more negative. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I want to stay completely honest with my thoughts and opinions if I have um, you know a poor experience with the candle I want to let y'all know that even if it was sent in PR just like this one it was sent in PR but I want to be honest and share my real feedback and let y'all know so that I can help you save some money and help you from running into an issue that's kind of I think the whole point of reviewing candles is that so I hope I did my job well <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please give this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.